Shawnee, aka Total Makeup Junkie 101. So today I wanted to do a quick review on these two palettes that have been getting lots and lots of hype. I wanted to do a quick compare and contrast video for you guys and let you know which one I would recommend. So the two palettes we are talking about, the first one is the Becca Afterglow palette and the other one is the Becca Jaclyn Hill. So the Afterglow palette I have seen at Ulta. I have not seen it at Sephora, but the Jaclyn Hill palette I have only seen at Sephora. I have not seen this one at Ulta. Price-wise, the Afterglow palette retails for $39.50 and the Jaclyn Hill palette retails for $34. Let's go ahead and start off by talking about the Afterglow palette. This is what the palette itself looks like. It is very, very small considering the products you are getting inside. When you look at this palette, this is the same size pan and the same size overall palette as their Ombre Nudes or their Ombre Rouge eyeshadow palette. These are all actually face products. You are getting three different shades of their Shimmering Skin Perfector, which is basically Becca's most widely known item. And then you're getting two shades of their Mineral Blush. Now, one thing to note is that all five of the shades in this palette are all permanent shades. I do think that's something important to note because although the sizes of these products are small, this is a nice little tester palette, something that you can purchase. You only have to pay $40 out of pocket to try five different Becca face products. And if you were to run out of one or two or all of these at some point, you can go and pick up the full sizes as you run out. Each of these pans contains 1.4 grams of product, which is very, very small small for a face product, but that is about the same size as a full-size MAC eyeshadow. So something to keep in mind, but with that being said, all of the Becca face products are very, very pigmented, especially the Shimmering Skin Perfectors. You do not need a lot of these to get a really, really pronounced highlight on your face. So despite the pans being pretty small, like I said, especially for face products, I don't think you're gonna run out of this palette or any of the shades in here anytime soon. Of course, if this becomes your day-to-day -day face palette, you will need to go out and pick up the full sizes of the products you tend to use up. Now, moving right into swatches of this palette, the first shade you are getting is a Shimmering Skin Perfector, and this one is called Moonstone. It's a really pretty light champagne gold. The next shade is Rose Gold, another Shimmering Skin Perfector. This is a true rose gold. Topaz, which is another Shimmering Skin Perfector, is a really nice bronzy copper color. The first blush shade you are getting is called Wild Honey, and this is a really nice neutrally toned blush. It's like a nudie brown. And the other blush, which is called Flower Child, is a really nice peachy pink. Now, personally, I can get all of these shades to work on my skin. All three of the Shimmering Skin Perfectors, as well as both of the blushes, can work for my tan complexion. I will say that if you are really, really pale, the Topaz Shimmering Skin Perfector and maybe even the Rose Gold Shimmering Skin Perfector will be too dark for a really pale skin to use as a highlight. You could, however, use both of those as a blush or as a blush topper if you wanted. If you are really, really deep in complexion, you can absolutely get all of the highlights to work. The blushes, this neutral blush in Wild Honey, may be a little too light for you. My overall thoughts on this palette is that it is a really good palette. It's a really nice sample palette almost. I do wish the price was a little better. I do feel like $40 is really expensive for really, really small amounts of all of the products you're getting in here. I think $30 would have been a really, really fair price to ask for this. Now moving right into the other palette, which is the Becca Jaclyn Hill palette. This is what the outside of this palette looks like. It's not as shiny as the Afterglow palette, by the way. This palette will hold fingerprints on the outer casing. This palette will not, which is really, really nice. When you look inside the palette, this is what you are getting in it. Basically, you are getting three different shades of the Shimmering Skin Perfector Pressed in three limited edition shades. Now, this first shade here is supposedly going to become a permanent part of the Becca 
collection. This one is called Pearl, but this one is new and exclusive to this palette at this time. My favorite part about this palette is that you are getting very, very decent sizes of each of the powders in here. You are getting 2.4 grams of powder. Now, even more than the weight of the actual powder, the thing that I did not mention in the afterglow, which would be one of the biggest knockoffs about this is that the pan size is nicer. When you are working with face products like blushes and highlights, oftentimes you are using a bigger brush. It's really difficult to get a big powder brush or like a blush brush into these tiny little pans. This, however, solves that problem. These pans are a really nice size. They are about the size of a Makeup Forever Artist eyeshadow. Now moving right into swatches of this palette, the first shade you are getting is called Pearl, which like I said, is a new shade and it is exclusive to this palette at this time. It is a very, very light white highlight. Then you are getting Champagne Pop, which we all know is the really, really popular limited edition shade that Jaclyn Hill created with Becca. It's a beautiful champagne gold color. And then you are getting Blushed Copper, which is another shade that is limited edition, but Becca has released this before. This one is a dark, kind of like a darker rose golden copper. Personally, I love all three of the shades in this palette. I think all three work on my skin tone. Pearl can come across a little bit chalky on me if I try to just like build it up or go crazy with it. But the beauty of this palette is that you do have blushed copper. So oftentimes I will mix them. I will mix pearl and blushed copper to create a really nice kind of golden rose gold white highlight. Once again, if you are really, really light in complexion, blushed copper is going to be way, way too dark for you to use as a highlight. But that one does make a really, really pretty blush. You're paying for dollars less for this palette than you would purchasing a full-size shimmering skin perfector and of course in this palette you're getting three different shades to try so the price is amazing I think the amount of product you're getting is amazing I love all of the colors in this palette I do have all of them except pearl of course in the full size already but I am very very happy to have this palette because it's a great little travel companion the only one thing I would have changed is that I wish there wasn't as much dead space in this palette as you guys can see the pans are right there in the center I don't understand what all this plastic on the bottom and all that plastic on the top is doing not to say it's not travel friendly the way it is but you know why have extra plastic when you don't need it so in terms of which palette would I recommend for you to buy and try I definitely prefer the Jaclyn Hill palette. I think this palette is amazing. All of the colors are beautiful. The price is on point. Now at the time that I'm filming this video, this product is sold out on Sephora.com. But if you have a Sephora store near you, I would go check in store because last that I went and I just went to Sephora yesterday, they still had a bunch of these on the shelves. So I would go check out your local store. The Afterglow palette is very good, don't get me wrong. But if I had to pick between the two, I would go Jaclyn Hill all the way. So that is pretty much all I have to say on these two palettes. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys have tried either of these palettes or if you're interested in picking them up or if you're not interested in picking them up, let me know in the comments down below. If you guys have not stayed up to date on my holiday review extravaganza, I have been uploading a whole bunch of holiday makeup reviews on the big palettes and the gift sets. And I will be sure to put my playlist that has all of those review videos in the description box below for you. Thank you guys so, so much for watching and supporting and subscribing. And I will see you guys in my next video on Monday. I'll see you then. Bye. You get really decent portions of all three of the popular luminizers. So these pans, you are getting less than one full size powder and you are still paying $80.